I found out about this this trailhead through the uh, the community sprint, the nonprofit community sprint, looking at data fakery, which is really around creating application data. Uh, but we'll talk more about that later. But in the meantime, this trail is is a fascinating look at the tech stack around uh, a tool called Cumulus CI, which is a Salesforce tool that's really about uh, automating um, and kind of retrieving, storing, loading data across Scratchworks. Uh, and so, let me see. The easiest way to do that, but this is um, a 3,000 point trail, uh, which five hours and 25 minutes I've spent many days on this project. So know that uh, if you aren't familiar with it, with this tech stack, it's, it's it can be uh, a bit of a slog. But that's why I built this uh, this YouTube series to help make sure that that you can quickly get through it and learn this so you can use this tool. Okay, so. Uh, Taking you through it, what they have is, uh, this is an introductory module, real quick, uh, that just introduces kind of what the, uh, what the app is and it specifically how to do, it's, it's a food bank, so it's about food delivery using the nonprofit success pack. Uh, you know, a definitely a, a appreciated application. Um, and this is about how do you build an app that can be shared across organizations, different nonprofits that could all benefit from the same a food bank app. Okay, so uh, this is the kind of the, the meat of it is setting up all this this tech stack. And so uh, let me just take you. So if you click in on this, what you end up getting to is uh, let's go to this one, right? Which is reviewing all of the kind of the basic information. So first of all, if you know what VS Code is, great, then you probably will fly through this. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like for those that haven't seen it. This is a Microsoft product, and what it is is a line editor, command line editor. So what you're able to do is to enter information here, and uh, and then it works fine. So let me, let me take you back up to the top again. Um, and so once you've, you know, once VS Code is in place, uh, then you have to enable um, dev hub and we do this from a playground um, although we end up using a dev org later in the process uh, but what you're doing is this is a using dev hub as a way to to spin up these scratch organizations so you need a uh, you know something to be creating it from and then what you have to do is to uh, install and configure two toolkits right the sfdx and also then Cumulus CI. Uh, S, SFDX, there's actually a new one now called SF, so we'll learn more about that when we get to it. But if you actually go out to the Cumulus CI, uh, what you're gonna see is, is to be able to implement this, uh, this, this package, uh, what you have to do is install Python. So there's some interesting things to learn about. You know, if you don't have, if you don't know Python, this is a great chance to explore that as well and to see how that how that works. Uh, and then if we go back out here, um, and, and again the uh, you know Salesforce recommends this. Uh, so as we start to see how these things work out. Um, the last thing that we're going to be doing then is, or not last thing, because you're going to see a whole bunch more other things in the stack as well, but uh, GitHub. If you haven't spent time in GitHub, uh, what I did was to do a lookup on GitHub from a Trails perspective, and there are modules. Here's an, you know, almost two hours, uh, or you can spend three hours and dive in, or you can spend eight hours and learn about DX and GitHub. Uh, and if we just click in on this one, just to give you a flavor for it, uh, what this does is to show us, again, just straight up multiple choice, 600 points, so six sections. And this is around, you know, think about repositories, repos, uh, issues and, and branches, committing to main, uh, building and merging pull requests, that, that kind of work. So uh, if that's all familiar to you, then you're in great shape. Um, otherwise, if we if we step back and we look at this again and we say, okay, what are the uh, uh, once we've done that, you know, we've got all the infrastructure in place. Uh, we're then gonna gonna build out uh, customizations to the app, uh, and so we're gonna add some uh, some new objects and fields, 
and then we're going to use um, GitHub to be able to share that. Uh, and then we jump into this, um, and this is really where some of the data fakery stuff comes in around how do you create demonstration data sets. Uh, and if we look at it, um, and if we look at, let me see, was it this one? Um, maybe that's the same one. Okay. So if we look at, uh, this is the one here, okay. Um, at building this demonstration data set, what you're going to do then is you're going to, to touch on um, yet another one down here. I was seeing, oh, was just, oh this is about resources. Uh, many good resources in this, but if we're looking at constituent data management, uh, what I did was to go out to there, and that's really, if you don't know the nonprofit success pack, that's going to take a bit of time also to learn about relationships and affiliations, although it's similar to other kind of uh, Salesforce verticals that have a similar system. Um, and then if, we, if we're back here and you learn about um, this, this learn about uh, is going to take you down yet another little piece of a tech stack, which is, um, you know, is YAML. And uh, you're also going to get into the fact that Cumulus CI has flows that aren't related to lightning flows. So lots of kind of overlapping conversations to be able to play with. And then finally, uh, the last two modules, uh, kind of once you've added data to a, an, an org so that you can share it, um, is to, to look at uh, how do you kind of manage a managed package. So you're creating packaging and then also doing post installs. So you can think how App Exchange works. And if we look at this last one, install your customized package, what you're going to find here is that it talks uh, a lot about, uh, well, let me, just, let me show you this one. This is the hands-on challenge. So it's a 500 points at the end, uh, which means it's, it's going to be tested, right? So what you have to do is to, um, is to do a series of pre-work. You have to have done everything that, that, the mod, that the other modules were asking for, but then you get into this challenge, and this is one of these kind of GPS challenges, right, where are, you know, kind of Google Maps, whatever you use for directions, where they really walk you through each step. Uh, and it makes sense as you read it, but as you dive into it, if you get off track, boy, it's a long way off track because then you, have to make, you may have to go back and actually clean up prior steps if you haven't been able to get it to where you thought it was because there's very little intermediate steps for this thing. Anyway, uh, so buckle up, and I hope you enjoy it, and uh, you know the videos will help make sure that you're successful. Thank you.